Hey there, it's Fight here with a super quick, uh, I guess, tutorial slash answer to one of the big questions I've been getting from my subscribers. And the question is, can you use segmentation uh, like you do with Aweber, like you do with Drip, like you do with Active Campaign? So you can basically avoid having many, many different lists, but instead you use tags to segment out your subscribers and then only send relevant information to them. And the answer is yes, you can. So although you can create multiple lists over here, uh, as you can see, I've created, you know, this is a brand new account, I've created one list. You could go and create multiple lists, but using uh, what is called tagging in many of the other um, autoresponder services here they call it something slightly different the tags they use is um, for it's basically templates for content for emails anyway you can use and I'm just gonna call them tags now and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next you know, couple of minutes so when we look at this one subscriber which is me myself and I now click on update uh, what you see is I am subscribed to this on inbox test list and this is my email and when I go and update what you'll see in here is there is this field here int lemons lemons rock and that is basically the tag I'm using now the the way it works is slightly different from for example drip drip you just set a tag and that's it here the tag has a value and that's why they don't call it tag they call it custom fields right so first name is a custom field last name is a custom field email is a custom field and this one of course is required and now i've created a new custom field and it can have values so by default you create one that is empty nothing in there so in this you know, just for kicks, I said, are you interested in lemons? This is how I use my tags in um, a Drip. I have int that's interested and then the topic that people are interested in. And by default, if it's not there, it, they're not interested. And if it's there, they are interested. And here you then, you know, this is a bit stupid. That probably would be better off having a yes in there. So, you know, now I have everyone who is interested in lemons. Yes. So the way you do it is you go to your lists and this is, you know, pay attention to this here. The tags or the custom fields are created on a per list basis. That's the key thing. So you can't have cross list tagging um, or, you know, selection by tags. And that's why I recommend you just have one list. Then you go into your list and in there you can have uh, custom fields. So you click on here, custom fields. And what you see then is the standard custom fields. There's email, there is, uh, now you see the int lemons, okay? Um, the uh, first name and the last name. So the one, if you, you know, now I could go, for example, int lemons default value equals no. And then everyone, everyone who subscribes to this list will now have this thing uh, created for them. I've made it hidden so if someone goes to their own profile they don't see this actual tag you know everything else is visible this one here is hidden and by default it's no and only if for example they click on a link in my email to do something to do with lemons then this will be set to let uh, yes so if I now go in here uh, to, to the bottom and save changes you know good thank you very much now I have uh, everyone who gets created has this by default uh, set to no I can go in and add another one, you know, all kinds of things. So add a text field, for example, are they interested in whatever, uh, coffee or tea? All right, interested in tea, uh, I call this int tea. Uh, visible, again, it is hidden, uh, inter it's just for me, interested in tea. And the default value is no, or you just leave it empty. You know, it doesn't really matter as long as you just set it to yes when uh, people, for example, click on a link. So I am done. I'm going to save this and thank you very much. So now, by default, my current subscriber doesn't have uh, this int t and as a result, I can't select them. So what I now do is I go in and create a campaign. So in a campaign, I create a new campaign, uh, create a new campaign. Um, and whatever, uh, tea or coffee, for example, all right, and I choose my one list, uh, that's my one, so if you had, 
I have a segment on here, namely uh, people who are interested in lemons. Now, previously, that was, as you saw, there was a value in there, like lemons rock, okay? And this segment is defined on anyone who has the value lemons rock in their field. Now, I've just changed that to yes or no or whatever. And as a result, now there are no more subscribers in this segment. Okay, so I'm going to leave it and send this email to everyone in here. Save and next. Um, yeah, whatever. Are you interested in tea or coffee? Thank you very much. And then, very important, you have to URL tracking in here. That's how the software then tracks the URL and makes sure uh, magic happens. Uh, Pre-header, blah, 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 save next. And now I go in here, very important, you must always ins include this here. I haven't set up my templates yet, so I'm just gonna stick this in here. Are you interested in tea or coffee? And there's my unsubscribe URL. Now, this is where the magic happens, or an a, a intermediate step before magic happens. If I just go and save this now, uh, save and next, then basically nothing cool happens and I can't get anyone to or can't measure how uh, if people are interested in tea. So if I now go in here and say this URL, I'm going to turn into a hyperlink. And where is my hyperlink? Here we go. And we're going to go to www.t.com. I have absolutely no idea what's at that address. So now I go and save my template. And now what's going to happen is at the bottom, I suddenly have these new links here. And what I want to do is basically change a custom field when people link on, uh, when a link on a click, when I click on a link. So now I say new. And thank you very much. If they go to t.com, then I will update int t to yes. And now I'm good. Okay, so save and next. There's me promising to do this whole thing in two minutes. Okay, it's seven minutes now. Sorry, but uh, better to go step by step. And then I can probably go and send this campaign. All right, so send campaign. I'm just going to pause this. As you can see, it's pending now. It's going to take a few seconds or maybe a minute until it goes out, and then I'll show you the email. And by the way, here I've done the whole thing, you know, Lemonicious. So this is an email that went to everyone who had clicked on the Lemons link. So I'll pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Alrighty, and as if by magic, there we go. This is, uh, you know, my tea or coffee email. Now, if I go back and look at my subscriber, uh, my one subscriber, yay! I am so happy I have a subscriber. And where are my subscribers? He is... Uh, actually, no, there's my subscriber. Um, okay, and how do I edit here? View, no profile info, no, that's it, update. So, I'm interested in T, no. Okay, so now I go back to the email and click on T. And we go to t.com, whatever is at t.com. No, boo, boo. How can you do that? How can you have such a cool domain and not do anything with it? That is shocking. Alrighty, so we go back to <laughs> two lists and we go to this particular list here. I'm not sure if there's a faster way of clicking through. All right, so here's my subscriber. There is me, I want to update. And T, yes, yippee! And that's basically how it works. So if I now go to um, list, I go and look at my list, and I can go to segments. I can also go to quick links here, like the, the list segments there, okay. Um, and I create a new segment. So uh, interested in T, interested in T. And I want any of these conditions here. I'm just going to go with uh, interested in T is yes. Save changes. And now I've got everyone who is interested in T in one segment. So I'm going to go and create a campaign, new campaign, create a new campaign. Um, T it is with milk. I choose my list. 
That's why I only have one list, so I can now use the segment across all my subscribers interested in tea. And there you go, there's one subscriber. And then you continue from there. So that's how the whole tagging, but it's not tagging, it's using custom fields to segment your list works. Um, at first, it you know it takes three steps and it's a little bit confusing. In practice, um, I use tagging like this every, I don't know, three or four emails. You, you don't want to do this every single email. This is basically to generate broad categories so you can send out relevant content. And if you want something super complicated with, you know, at a micro level, every single email, then MailWiz is not for you in, in no matter uh, what incarnation, whether it's Inboxing Pro or uh, on Inbox or the pure, you know, self-hosted MailWiz. This is simple tagging or custom fielding to segment subscribers into segments and then send out relevant content. And my advice, you do this occasionally so you get a broad overview of what people are interested in. If you want micro fine control, like you have, I mean, you can, of course you can. You know, you can, if they have opened this uh, and they have also clicked on that and visited the website over here, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can, but then it does get complicated for those applications and for those applications only. It is worth looking at other solutions like Drip. In practice, I would say this, what you get here, covers 95% of all use cases for you know, almost everybody out there. So rather than research this to death, like I said in my email yesterday, just go and do it. You know, I'm about to set up my autoresponder. No, forget it. Just go and do it. Take one of these things. This is enough segmentation. That's all you ever need. Just go and do it and focus on building your list instead of researching different segmentation and automation options you might want to have in the future. Alrighty. Cheers. Bye.